Hello. Hello, 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 everyone. Hopefully the sound is working. I hope it is. I hope I'm not talking to myself. I hope. Somebody give me a thumb, a heart, uh, something. Let me know y'all can hear me. I'm going to take that as a yes, you can, Angela. Yes. Okay, good. Hey, everybody. I have not been on live in a few weeks, and I am trying to get back into the swing of things. The school year has come to an end for the students, but I still have a few days left to work. Hi, Michael. I want to go through. I'm going to show you my goal right quick. One thing I noticed is that when I am um, putting paper up to this laptop, it makes the screen get dark, but hopefully you'll be able to see the goal. I always like to start my live with a goal, and our goal for tonight is to unbox and, air quote, convert an Epson 15,000. So hopefully y'all can see that and we will definitely get started. So I'm going to say hi. And as y'all come in, if you haven't hit the like button, please do that. Um, hi, Lizzie. Hey, Sezzy Mocha Crafts. Hey, V Dazzle. Hey, Sugar. Oh, I like Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray Creation. Hey, from Cincinnati. Hey, Angela from Washington. Hi, A Alexandria. Hey, hey, Shamika. Hey, Louise. Hi, Angela. Thank you for letting me know y'all could hear me. T. Thompson. Hey. Okay, y'all coming on in. Hey, Vanessa Baker. I'm trying to do better, y'all. Michael Davey. Hey, Michelle. Thank you for joining. You know I need you. <laughs> hey, Florence from Orlando. Hi, Janice. Hey, Jennifer. Hi, Emily. Hey, LaRonda. Kristen Craft Fully Me Jordan. I like that. Hi, Cheryl. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Aloy. Hi, 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 everybody. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Betty. Can't stay long. Okay. Hey, Linda, thank you for popping in. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Hi, Patricia. Hey, Linda. Paula D. from Maryland. Dimps! <laughs> Dimps, I've been MIA. I've been okay. I, I was... I was a little bit shaken up a couple for a couple of weeks, but I'm getting back into things. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Marcy. Okay, Claremont near Disney. Okay, you're close enough. Love my channel. Thank you so much, Emily. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully, you don't get turned away after you watch this live because things happen when I'm live. Things just happen that I don't intend to happen. Hey, Perpetula Jefferson. I like that name. Um, things happen and they're unexplained. I Sometimes we do tunnel talk, moon talk. Sometimes the sound just goes out, just willy nilly, just out for no reason. And I don't know why. Kimmy, hey. Hey, Wendy. Oh, thank y'all so much. Hey, uh, I hope I say it right. Atiyah's treasure. Hey, Elizabeth from Dallas. You all right, you close enough. You probably cheer for that other team, but I got rep repping my Rockets tonight. I'm repping for my Rockets. Booger. Booger by Laplace. Booger by Laplace. Laplace. Hope I said it right. Thank you so much, Dimps. Um, hey, Melinda. Hey, Tammy. Oh, hey, Marty Mar. Shorty D. You know, when he got the 15th. <laughs> you know what? I've been eyeballing with my good eye. I've been peeping that thing for a minute. Hey, from Long Island, New York. Um, Dems, I was a little bit shaken up with that that shooting, and I was just too, too, too overcome with sadness to be on trying to do a live video. And I didn't want to 
risk not being able to keep it together. Hey, Aunt Wanda. I'm so glad to see you. Hey, Andrea. Hope I said it right. Got tired of your cricket. Okay. You got tired of your cricket? I love my cricket. I love the cricket. Now, I know that cricket design space can give people problems and issues, but I love that. I love those machines. I think they are fantastic. The software is what, you know, kind of trips people up. Um, last night, my son and I worked on a, um, he wanted a, a design on the back of a jacket and what was supposed to take maybe 15 minutes took us about two hours, but um, we got it done. So if y'all want me to show it to you, I will. We kind of did a little trickery with the cricket to make the design bigger because we still wanted it to be print then cut, but um, it, it came out okay. I'm, I'm going to try it again. Yes, Marilyn, it, it's been just hard. Hey, Rhonda. Hey, why Robert 264? Andrea, thank you. Okay. Yay, I'm glad I got it right. I, I want it's good to see you. It is hard to find the Epson 15,000. I found it yesterday. I actually, I'm in Houston, Paula D. I don't know where you are. Um, I don't, and I don't know if I say hi to Vanessa, but hey, Vanessa, if I didn't. Um, I don't know where you live, Paula D, but yesterday when I looked online on Office Depot, um, there were about three different ones in my in my area in my city so when it was like do you want to do a curbside pickup there were like three different options three different stores that had it in stock so i was kind of excited about that but i also wanted to hurry up and get it before i thought it was a mistake took yours out of the box has been sitting for you your cricket or your printer which one angela oh thank you barbara thank you so much hey josette have to keep yeah keep checking because it's not easy to find thank you arlene i appreciate that i appreciate that very much trickery okay look let me show you the jacket first let me put y'all on mute so you don't hear me call my son because you don't need to hear that foolishness hold on for one second Hey, Patrice, what? the jacket we made last night. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, Janet. Elizabeth, I'm going to be learning too, but I said I wanted to just, you know, unbox it now and unbox it live. I'll make all the mistakes. So if you get ready to unbox yours, you'll be like, you know what? I'm not going to do what Delonda did because she jacked it all up. I'm going to do the opposite of what Delonda did and get it right. And then you'll be good. Do I have any other machines? I don't have a cameo. Um, I only have. Say hi, Miles. Put your head in the face. That's my son, Miles. Okay, Hello. you can back up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason why I got the fifteen thousand Lucy Lou is because it'll go up to thirteen by nineteen. Oh, your cricket. You just you spend sitting so. My son is, uh, you know, he's very, very tall, super tall, um, six, four, I think. And he wanted a design on the back of this jacket. I don't know why. I don't know why he wanted this design. So you have to ask him. 15,000 years, I just got it out, ran three weeks ago. You love it. Oh, I'm good, Christina. It's good to know. <laughs> so this is the design. It's just Friday the 13th. I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, like that. And it is photo transfer. And I did this in Cricut Design Space. I, I did this in Cricut Design Space, this whole big thing. So it's actually, I think it's 9.0 by, I don't know, let me look. I think it's 9.0 by 9.5. Let me see. Let me see. We just kind of rigged it up. It's 9 by 13. And we just used two eight and a half by 11 sheets of photo transfer paper and put them together to do the design. Thank you, Elizabeth. Hey, Risa. He he is handsome, Janet. Thank you. But uh, he, you know, he he living his best life trying to do, he better do right. <laughs> he needs to get out because he over there, he ain't doing him playing a video game. 
But anyway, so we did that. And I'm a, I'll am do a tutorial once I perfect it, but I have not gotten it just right yet because I put heat tape right here to, to I don't know if you can tell, but like that's what we, the two pieces are kind of taped together. And I put the Cricut tape right there. And when we pressed it, it like pressed into the, the design. So I need to figure out a way to do it without the, that happening with the tape. Miles is 19. He'll be 20 in August. He'll be 20 in August. So that's why you want that printer. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Mary. Okay. So if you didn't get a chance to see the goal, the goal is to unbox and I'm using air quotes for convert because we're really not converting it. All I'm doing is I'm going to put my sublimated, my sublimation ink inside that printer instead of the printer, instead of the ink that comes with it. All right. So I kind of made notes for myself. Hey, Leo. He better do right because he'll get the elbow to the throat. Elbow just go right through the throat. He's like my elbow will be on coming out of the back of his and he'd be like, how did you get an elbow in the throat? Mom, I didn't do right. My mama just put her elbow right through my throat. Mm -hmm. That's what would happen. <laughs> so I kind of made some notes for myself. I know y'all can't see it, but I'm going to try to let you see it about like why and things I wanted to remember to talk about. So one thing is, why did I get this printer? Because I already have a sublimation printer. I have an Epson 2760 and I love that printer. I love the 2760. Like I love it. I love it a lot. I love the fact that the ink is still good. Like I put that ink in, I want to say I put that in July 2021 and it's still the same ink. I haven't refilled it. I haven't had to add more. It's still the same ink. And I do a lot of sublimation. I feel like I do. So, but the limitation of that printer is that it can only go up to eight and a half by 14. So, and I also have some paper that I want to show you. So when I'm using the Epson 2760, and I'm going to show it to you in a minute, you know, you can use the eight and a half by 11. This is the paper that I love. You know, there are plenty of different types of sublimation paper that you can buy, but I like ASUB. I started out with ASUB. I haven't really tried any other brands and I love it. And so, and if it's working, I'm the kind of person, like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right. So I'm, I'm going to get to that too, Risa. I'm going to definitely get to that workforce. And I'm going to show you all the, the workforce too. But this is the, the paper that I use. So with the Epson 2760, you can print this size, the 8.5 by 11, but you can also go up to 8.5 by 14. 8.5 by 14 is, you know, it's also decent. It's a longer, you know, a little bit longer of a sheet. So if you wanted to print something big, you could, you know, put two sheets together and work work it like that um but you know when you want to do something bigger like when i made those garden flags i needed a bigger printer in order to do that so a few months ago i did buy the epson i think it's the 7820 workforce the thing about that printer is it'll do it'll do and i'm saying that i'm just being honest with you it is a way to get bigger prints. The downside to that printer, in my personal opinion, and there might be people who who love it, you know, there might be people who have the 7820 who have, you know, just decided I love this printer. It's, it's a good price. Um, that Epson, it was right at $300. So, I mean, it's a good, it's a decent price for a, a printer that you can convert to sublimation. The problem with that printer is that you have to buy the cartridges only to take the chip off the cartridge to put on the replacement chips. So every time that printer runs out of ink, any color, you're going to have to re buy a replacement cartridge. You're basically buying ink that you will never, ever use. So for me, until they come out with a reset, like a chip resetter, it's not, it's not gonna work for me. It's a decent printer. It's a, it was a good starter for me to have a wide format printer because that one does go up to thirteen by nineteen. Um. Oh, really? You did two pages and you tried to line them up, Emily. I think you have an old Cricut machine that does both print. 
Oh, and print thing could even think. I don't know anything about that one, Vanessa, because I just got started with cricket. Like I only like a I just celebrated a full year back in March. So this is the next size up of paper, eleven by seventeen. So with the wide format printer, you know, you can go up to eleven by seventeen, which is, you know, excellent, right? It's it's a good size, but the the 15,000 and the workforce, they both go up to 13 by 19. And um, that's what I wanted. I want to be able to go up as big as I want, right? Big As big as this in order to get a good, you know, big print. Let me, um, let me add my phone. I hope Crickets do not print. They only cut. Yeah, I've never seen one that will do both. Let me see if I can... Y'all, if the sound does something weird or if I if it mutes or if I do tunnel talk or moon talk, can y'all just forgive me in advance? <laughs> because when I start with this, adding the phone and adding the second device, I have issues. My name is Delanda. And when I add it, I'm just being honest. Okay, so I'm going to try to add this phone so y'all can see that printer. And if it gives me issues, I'm sorry. Okay, let me just say that. Okay, so we're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. I hope y'all can hear me. Okay. Look at that. Okay. So this is the, let me see if y'all can see it. Hold on. I don't know. Can y'all see that? That is the 2760. This is the 2760 that I love. And you can see this is the original ink. I have not replaced the ink. I haven't added more black. Like this is the ink that I put in the day that I opened this printer and I still haven't had to add more at all. I love this printer. This one will go up to eight and a half by 14. Okay. So this is my baby. Like this, and it literally is a baby. Like this 7820 could have had that one as a baby. <laughs> hopefully y'all, hopefully y'all can still hear me. This is the 7840. Let me kind of zoom out so y'all can see it. So that's the 7840. Well, 78 is the 7840, 7820. I, I always forget. I always, oh, 7820. So it's Epson Workforce 7820. So this one goes up to 13 by 19. It is a touch screen, you know, at the on the screen and all of that. The only thing about this printer is that, let me see if I open it, if I can show you. Don't fall. Don't fall. Hold on, I'm still show you. So, let me see what I can see. Let me see. Okay, so you can see. So you see those cartridges. With these, you have to have a chip read in order to use oh wait i'm sorry i'm sorry phone let me just hold it like that you have to have a chip in order to use these when the ink runs out and in order to get a chip you have to buy a whole brand new original cartridge and so to me that's just expensive and it's not cost effective so even though this printer will print up to 13 by 19 uh, even though it will print up to 13 by 19, it's not, it's in the long run for me, it's not going to be cost effective until they um, offer a chip resetter. Okay, put that back. Sorry. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. Okay. So let me 
Okay. Can y'all hear me? Are we okay? Yes. When you do your printer, will you be getting a bigger heat press? No, my print, my heat press goes up to, and that's a good question, Hillary. Um, she said, make sure you print it. Will you be getting a bigger heat press? No, I am going to use the heat press that I have. My heat press is a 15 by 15 uh, clamshell. And let me address another question. <laughs> Because some people in my group, in my Facebook group said, Delanda, how many um, heat presses and how many printers do you have? Too many, right? Because I have that Epson 2760. I have the Workforce 7820. I have my regular inkjet printer. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me move this so you can see it. But I have that printer right there that I use when I'm not doing any sublimation. So that's three. And then this is a fourth printer. So I'm not getting any more printers. We're going to have to do what we do with this. And in terms of heat presses, I have this 15 by 15. I have the Swing Away 15 by 15. I have the StarCraft 12 by 15. And I have a 9 by 9 Cricut Easy Press. And we have a Household Iron. We're not doing any more. Y'all can't hear me. Lord have mercy. Okay, you can't hear me. Okay, Whew, okay. So no, I'm not, I'm not going to get a bigger heat press. If I have to press something that's bigger than like when I did those garden flags, I had to just move the flag. So no. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and open. You can hear me. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open the box and we will get into what's in the box. And y'all keep the questions coming and I will try to do my best to answer them. I hopefully I say hi to everybody. Thank you, one virtuous woman. I received that. Hey, Carol Hatter. Oh, thank y'all so much. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully I'm doing okay with the questions and hellos. And if I didn't say hi to you, hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm so crazy. <laughs> Girl, you're so crazy. Girl, you're so crazy. All right. So let me just move this a little bit closer. So we can see what we see. We can see what we see. did have my um press turned on all right let's see what's in the box let me see where we are y'all still hear me ladies and sure do you say i mean no this is uh elijah one i bought this from the um from the toyota center when we went to a game last season. So it comes with a disc. And I don't know if you're anything like me, but whenever I buy a new press, I mean, a new printer or anything that comes with a disc, I typically, this is just me, Delanda, even when I got my new computer, I don't use the disc that comes with it to download drivers. I always go to the website because I feel like what's on the website is the most current and up-to-date information. That's just what I do. Some people prefer to use the disc. I won't be using the disc. When I get ready to download the drivers, I'll be downloading them from the Epson website. Okay. Nubi Delano will be the best printer. He presses the money just learning. Uh, where did I get the chair? The chair came from Ikea. And the, the handyman came from my womb. Damn, she made me say that. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> uh, heat press. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Diane Robinson's Crafts Unlimited. <laughs> I'm so crazy. Um, the the printer that I love, Angela, is the 2760. The 2760 and the 2720 are really pretty much the same exact thing. The only difference between the 2760 and the 2720 is that the 2760 can do front and back, you know, it can print duplex, but I'm not going to be doing duplex printing anyway, because I'm going to use that for sublimation. 
Converted Eco Solvent. Okay, use the same sub ink and how much is needed for this new printer. I am, I'm going to use the same ink. And I actually ordered some more just to be on the safe side because I just want to have some that's just dedicated to this printer. I'm going to use the same ink, which is the Hippo. I call it Hippo. I wonder if they call it Hippo. I wonder if the company calls it Hippo. I use this one, this um, Hippo brand right here. Hippo brand. And I linked it below this video. It's linked in the description box. But I haven't had a problem with this brand. Like, I love it so much. And when you get the bottles, you, you need to make sure you're getting the bottles that are like this. We, I'm kind of jumping ahead of myself. I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to come back to this. Because you want to make sure you get the bottles that are the refill bottles, not the ones that come with the syringes and all that stuff. Because you don't really need it for this. All right. So let's go back to what's in the... Um, Let's go back to, yeah, that's true, Angela. Okay, go back to what's in the box. So it comes with the disc and the instructions. And it comes with a cord. And it comes with these four bottles of ink. I don't, I'm not going to use this ink, but I'm also not going to throw it away. I don't throw mine away. Um, I mean, what could you do with yours? You could try to sell it. You could keep it. You could store it. So I just have a box and I brought it over here to show it to you. So I have a box that I just, I bought this from um, Hobby Lobby and all of my ink from any printer that I purchased that, I, you know, that I converted, I just put the ink in the box. So when I open this box, you know, like all of my previous I don't know if y'all can see that. All of my previous ink and syringes and all that stuff, it's all in this box. So this is just going to the, maybe it's the ink graveyard. It's going to be the ink graveyard. That's what we're going to call it. Okay. So I just keep it in the box and I just keep it, keep it somewhere in my craft room. Okay. I am crazy on one. That's true. Heat press. Angela, you want my real true feelings on that? I, I started with the Cricut Easy Press. The only problem I have with the Easy Press, and this is just me, everybody is different. Some people love the Easy Press. For me, it's not easy because the amount of pressure that you put is determined by you and you can't measure pressure. Like, how do you say, well, I'm pressing hard because hard for me might not be hard for you. Firm pressure for me might not be firm pressure for you. So in my opinion, the easy press is not, it's a good starter press, it's decent, but you can use that money that you're gonna buy on an easy press for a bigger press. And here's another piece of my personal opinion. You can take it and flush it right down the toilet and I won't be offended. I won't even know. Um, 15 by 15 is, to me, it just makes sense because you, you can't, you don't want to start small and then have to buy bigger and then bigger and then bigger. 15 by 15, you can pretty much do a lot with a 15 by 15. Okay, and you got the 10 by 10 and you love it. Okay, see, and everybody is different. I I, I have I don't have a 10 by 10, I just have the, the cricket nine by nine. But I love the 15 by 15. But I also love the Starcraft 8 in 1 because that that little heat press, it comes with all the attachments and it's super light. Like it is super light. I love all of the attachments. And if you don't already have a mug press, it comes with the mug press, it comes with a hat press. I love that one. So, and that one is 12 by 15. So just my opinion comes with styrofoam. Styrofoam. Extra packaging. Y'all, y'all remember the debacle when I oh, see, see what just happened? When I opened that uh Let me put it on the floor. Hold on. So 
So it's the box, I mean the package. And it comes with this big bag. I, mean, I, I don't understand this big bag. Let's see. This big bag, it doesn't say why this bag exists. But I guess if you have to replace it or return it, you put it back in this bag. Google says to use it to refill a regular printer. Oh, okay. It's not heavy. It's not heavy. No, it's not heavy. Okay, so that. Now, one thing to note, it does not come with a printer cord. So if you are thinking about connecting your printer directly to your computer, you'll already know in advance that you're going to need to get an extra printer cord right? Because it doesn't come with one. When I was growing up back in my day, they used to come with it, but they don't. So you need to know that. Because I, here's another thing. I personally like to keep mine directly connected to my computer. I like to keep mine connected. I don't like to go through Wi-Fi because I found that sometimes when you send a, an image to the printer, it doesn't print all the way. That's just my personal opinion and my experience. Oh, the bag is for transporting, okay. All right, so here's an, another bag. Office Depot is dragging me with cash back. Oh, cash back, how much they give you? Who, how much cash back do they give you? Is it enough? And there's another little piece of plastic too. All right, so that, you saw what came in there and it comes with, you know, just the, the power cord. All right, so now maybe we need to look at, hey, Miss Victoria, we need to look at how much tape comes on here. Hopefully y'all can see, can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Okay. So there's a lot of tape. I'm gonna remove all the tape. There's one. Two, three, four. I couldn't remove that one. Five. Six. So with the scanner function, there's also another way to lift it over here on the side and it has a little kickstand thing, I call it. Okay, seven for this. Um, Eight, nine, ten so far. I don't know if y'all can see, I'm probably covering up 19, 20. Yeah. 
anything else this see. So there were 25, 25 pieces of tape that I removed, okay? So if you get yours and you don't get 25 pieces of tape, you call and you sell them, you didn't get 25. No, I'm just joking. Don't listen to me. Okay, thank you. $50 printer for 25. Oh, good. Credits. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. All right, so there's that. Let me move these for one second. That. All right, let me see if there's anything back here. So there's an Ethernet port and then the port for your power cord. Um, now, the Epson 7820 does have a, an extra USB port, which I love. I, I love that. <laughs> I'm crazy, y'all. I'm crazy. She's so crazy. Okay. So I taken it out of the box and I removed 25 pieces of tape. Remember the box comes with the power cord and then four, four bottles of ink and then a big plastic bag in case you need to get rid of something. Whatever you might need to get rid of. All right, I am going to plug it. I'm gonna um, plug it up, but I'm not gonna turn it on just so that once I start um, putting the ink in, I don't need to remove it. Great printer, best printer. Print on best quality though. Yes, I didn't. Was this on sale? It was not on sale, I wish. See what I'm saying, Miss JJ? We need to have a conversation. Why didn't y'all put 30 pieces of tape? Now I feel like the economy is not good. Where is the rest of the tape? See, that's the problem right there. Y'all got to mute you for one second while I call these kids. I'm not getting down there to plug this up. I, I'm too old for that. Hold on. Hold on one second. Not you. Not go Celtics. What happened with that? Here, <laughs> they come back on tape. Ah, oh, that's fun. Thank you, son. Okay, so once he plugs it up, let me say what I was going to say about this this ink. Thank you. So I bought the one that has the the caps like this. Because when I'm pouring the ink in, I don't want to have to, like I want it to be automatic. I want to just put the ink on top and not have to be worried about um, being exact and accurate. Let me show you the difference. So like. Yes, this is sublimation ink. So when I filled up the 7820, remember I said I had to use cartridges, right? It uses cartridges like this. Let me show you what one looks like. It uses cartridges like this. And in order to get the ink in the cartridge, 
I the I had to get the bottles like this so that I could use the um syringes to get the ink out. But I didn't want to use this this kind of cap to fill this printer because I want to be able to just turn the ink over and you'll see it. I want to just be able to turn the ink over and let the ink pour into the dispenser automatically. Okay. Thank you, Emily. Okay. So that, that cap is different from this cap. So let me show you what that one looks like one more time that see how that one looks. I'm not going to use this one because this one was the one I used with the syringes. I'm going to use this cap. Okay. So I'm going to take it off. Hey, Michael. I think we played a little bit of phone tag today. I think we played a little bit of phone tag today. But um, I lost. I think I lost. I think that's what happened because I was last and you did not take me back. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. And hopefully y'all can see that. I hope you can. There's a like a little opening. You just open it right here. This little hopefully, hopefully y'all can y'all see that? Can y'all see that close enough? Yes, hopefully y'all can see that. So and I'm just gonna take this because there isn't a um this one is already open. It's already open there isn't a seal on it okay perfect thank you and i'm just turn it over and put it on here and just let it you'll be able to hear it and it, you'll see that it's going to fill up on its own i need to bring this closer so y'all can see it hey craft in a way no you can't see it let me bring it closer Y'all know when I move the laptop, stuff, stuff starts happening. Y'all see that? It's filling up. It's filling up, filling up. Okay, I'll leave it right here if that's better. I don't know if that's a weird. Let me scoot that back. I did lose, Michael, because we didn't talk. So I lost. We played, but I lost. I don't know if y'all, that's awful. Hold on. Let me just move it back so y'all can see what's going on. Okay, so it's filling up. It looks like it's full. So I'm going to take it off because I don't want it to overflow. I'm going to put this down for one second. I don't have, I don't, I have not tried DTF crafting away. I haven't tried that. Now, one thing to note is see how the black cartridge or the black I'm gonna call it the black the slot for the black ink is bigger it used all of the black ink so I don't have any just like a little I have a little bit left in here okay so make sure you you know you realize that of course you're going to use more black ink than anything else <laughs> I found one yesterday by luck so I was lucky yesterday because I got my printer and then unlucky today because I lost that phone tag with you Hmm, how about that? See, see how those things happen? They just happen, Michael. They happen and we have to keep going. Okay. So now I'm going to take the next color, which is the 
Cyan. Is, that, is it Cyan? Yes. That's how much Office Depot. That's exactly how much. $699. So make sure you're using the right color for the right slot. So I'm just going to go in order. So the next one is the Cyan, which is just a fancy way of saying blue. You make sure it's no. Yeah, maybe they refill these bottles. I don't know. You can't see. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna move it back over. I just wanted to put it down to show you. So I'm gonna open this. Let me come close. This is weird, y'all. I'm sorry, but I'm going to I'm going to open this slot, and I'm just gonna turn this over. And listen for a click and it'll fill up. I know this is weird. It's weird for you. Is this weird for you? It's weird for me. But you can see it filling up and it won't take the whole thing because remember the black, you know, is like almost double the size. I think I could put some more black in there. It looks like a, some space. Okay, I'm gonna put the laptop down for a second. You got it on Amazon for a thousand. I will let you claim me on your taxes, but probably too old. See, Reyes came across yours and Staples. Okay, what was that question? Okay, more than one bottle for each. Yes, one bottle for each. And that blue is, I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty much gone too. It's just a little bit, a little bit left in there. All right, so I'm going to the next color, which is the magenta. And I'm just you know, double checking that it's not, I think, I honestly think they just refilled these bottles, which I'm okay with. Um, there's nothing, like there's no closure here. So I'm gonna take this cap off and I'll bring you close again to show you again, because I want you to be successful at doing your printer. So I'm on the third slot, which is the magenta. You want to make sure you match it up, right? You don't want to put the wrong ink in the wrong slot. And then just let it fill up on its own. Yeah, it's pretty much taking one bottle to fill up each each slot. Which is kind of strange because with the 2760, I still have some ink left over from when I filled that printer up. But my best piece of advice is to get the right kind of bottles for filling it up. I'm going to put the laptop down. Yes, I'm using Hippo. Yes. Do you use, reuse your ink bottles? I say when refilling, so I don't have to use the syringes anymore. Only my inkjet. I haven't had to refill yet, Latorsha. I haven't had to refill at all. So that 2760, that's the same ink from last year. But yes, I still have the, so I still have the bottles, maybe larger printer inkwells, maybe Andrea, 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 I'm going to get your name right. You're going to be so proud of me. You're going to give me like a little certificate and everything. All right. So my last one is the yellow. And yes, this is, um, it's the hip, Hippo brand. And the only reason I use this kind is because it's the one I started with. 
and I don't have a reason to change it. I don't. Some people, you know, you get the one you like and then you kind of just stick with it, even though there might be a better one, you know, with more vibrant colors. I just haven't had a problem with it, so I don't have a reason to change it yet. I'm just one of those. So I open the yellow slot, you know, just open it up and I'm just put the put it right here on top and just let it fill up. The yellow is going fast. Okay. Let me check my views. That's right. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, Roberta. That's exactly right. Okay. So, see, it's like a little bit of here, but see, I can't throw that away. I cannot. Why well, don't I? I. This is, this is money. <laughs> I can't. I can't throw that away. I'm still going to use that. So in my mind, I still have some ink left. Okay. So there's that. All right. See, I still feel like that black could go a little bit more. It looks like there's a little. I'm going to just let it drip. Let it drip for a minute. <laughs> Yeah, we don't throw the toothpaste away just because you squeeze it and it couldn't come out. You better take that cap off and get it all out. Because Look, you want to brush your teeth or ride in the car? We have to make those kind of decisions with this economy. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Gas price is a billion dollars. You need a bike and everything. Okay, so now I have the ink in and all of that. So now I'm going to turn the printer on, okay? All right. Let me um, move this stuff out of the way so y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm going to try to get closer. Let me hide that comment. Okay, so I'm going to turn the printer on. I think I am. Just kidding. Okay. It's coming on. I'm going to put this laptop on the table so it'll be closer. Okay, so it's asking me about the language. Um, it says, you know, English is already selected and this is a touch screen. So I'm just gonna click yes. Do my best to click yes. And then it's asking me about the country. So USA. And it's asking me if it's winter or summer. Can y'all see that well enough? Hopefully you, you probably can't, but I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you what it says. So hopefully that's helpful. Now, obviously this printer doesn't know that I live in Houston and summer is not an adequate enough word to describe the heat in Houston. Okay. Cause 
It should say scorcher, but I'll choose summer. Because they want us to catch on fire. I feel it. All right. And it's asking me about the date format. So you have the option of, of the year first, the month first, or the day first. And I want the um, month first. And it's asking me what month it is. So I'm going to, you know, choose my. And it's asking if I want the 12 hour or 24 hour format. And it's asking me what time it is. It's 6.56 where I am. And it's asking about AM or PM. And it says processing. It's asking about how long did you say the ink lasted in the other printer and how long is a new printer you expected? I know it depends on printing needs in general. So Maryland, that other printer, the 2760, I filled that printer up with ink in July of 2021 and I've never refilled it. That is so weird, me looking right here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let me just scoot it back because that's just too weird. I can't handle it. <laughs> you love the Elijah One shirt? Yes. Hey, Lakeisha. Crossing fingers and toes. We're crossing everything. I love all the classic Rockets stuff. So all the classic stuff. Okay. It says, see the start here bundled with printer on the website to complete initialization. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the website and see what it says about initialization. Um, but there, it also came with this. So let me see what this package says, even though I'm not going to, let me kind of let y'all see my face a little bit because that's kind of weird, right? Um, even though I'm not going to use this disc, I am going to kind of look at what this says. Can we do a little recap? Can we do a little bit of a recap? I showed you the paper options. I told you why I purchased this printer. Um, I opened the box. I took off 25 pieces of tape. I showed you the ink that came in it. I told you not to use it to either save it or, you know, do something else with it. We looked at the power cord. I reminded you that this one does not come with a printer cord that you can connect to your computer. So if you are planning to do that, you know, you need to purchase that separately. I told you that back in my day, printers used to come with that cord, but they stopped doing it before the economy was even bad. They stopped giving those out. OK, I don't know why. All right. Fill the tanks. We did that. Wait to fill the tanks. Da, 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 da. Let's just scan her up. Ba, 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 ba. If an error message, raise the control panel, power on the power button, LCD, start here. Okay. All right. So, any questions so far? Any questions so far before we go to the Epson? See the start here bundled with printer. I don't see this. Uh, hit the thumbs up. I am working hard, craftable things. I got the sweat to prove it. I got the sweat to prove it. They do. Lakeisha, each, um, each slot took a full bottle. So I don't have any, well, I have a little bit of this much, about this much left in each bottle, which is going in there. It might not go in today, but it's going in. This is not trash. This is like $3 worth of ink. Okay. So there's that. All right. Let me see what website they suggest. It says, do not force the bottles. Remember, I didn't force the bottle. I didn't squeeze the bottle. I just... I put the bottle on and I just let it um, pour in on its own. Let me just see what website they suggest. Okay, if you're using a Mac, 
Make sure your product is not connected to your computer. Print directly. Any questions? Okay, I'm going to go to epson.com forward slash support. So let me do that. Let me do that. Epson. Epson.com forward slash support. Oh, my caps lock is on. And for home printers, okay, let me um, share my screen so you can see what I'm doing. No, no waste the ink, share screen, window, Chrome tab, okay, share. Okay, so um, I'm on the epson.com forward slash, and I just chose the option for home, and I'm going to look at printers. Eco tank printers. Look at Shaq making all the money. I don't want to shop. I want to support. Extended service plan. Point of sale project. Let me see. I did not do anything ahead of time. So. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Et fifteen thousand. Okay. Et fifteen thousand. This model is compatible with the Epson Smart Panel. Download iOS app. I don't want to do that. Windows. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to download the Drivers and Utilities Combo Package. Yes. This Falcon is on to use and click OK. OK. So it's installing the driver combo package. Um, Epson software agreement. I'm going to say yes. Preparing for installation. Let me see. Epson smart scan scan document. Epson using that. OK. I'm going to click yes. I want that. Uh, participate in it. No, I don't want to participate in the future, in the design of future Epson printers. I don't want to participate in that. Checking for software updates. So now remember I said you could also do this with the disc. The reason why I chose to do it from the website is because I feel like the website has the most up-to-date and most current information. Um, downloading Epson, da -da -da, da -da -da. downloading facts, which I'll never use. Um, Downloading Epson Scan Smart. Um, downloading da da da. Epson Eco Tank. Let me come back to my and see what y'all are doing. Like this slide. Okay, like he said, da 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 da. Hey, Shaq. Hey, hey, awkward artist. Okay, it's downloading everything, you guys. Let me see what this says. Okay, it's at 24%. Okay. Y'all okay? Y'all doing all right? Y'all all right? Yeah, so I don't know how old this disc is. I don't know how old. Oh, 2020. This disc came out in 2020. Reason 2 billion why I don't use the disc. Because I'm sure they've made updates since they made this disc. I don't have to order more before I try to say. No, Lakeisha, one, one box should do it. Hey, Tracy. I don't know if I said hi to you earlier, but Thank you for being here. So, okay, it's on 80%. 
and I'm just going to follow the prompts. And even after I get this all set up, I am going to connect it directly to this laptop. I always keep my printer directly connected, just personal preference. All right. It says turn on your printer. I've already done that. Can y'all still see, still see my screen? I hope you can. Make sure your printer is turned on and click next. I'm going to click next. And then it says for first time setup, you need to fill the tanks. I've already done that. Start here. Post If you fill the tanks, we don't charge it. You can tap the screen once and press and hold the question mark button for five seconds. So let me stop sharing for one second. And it says for me to hold that question mark button, this right here, for five seconds. So I want to do that. One, two, three, four, five. And then it says, when filling the ink, make sure not to squeeze the ink bottle. Okay, Quick proceed. Start initialization. Confirm that the ink tank is filled. I'm click, I'm click done. Initializing. Do not turn the power off until initialization is complete. This takes about 10 minutes. Okay, so we have 10 minutes. Chaz Mark, can you see this printer or you see the other screen? So I'm going to let this do what it's doing. Thank you, Chaz Mark. Okay. All right. And let me see what's happening on the other screen. Okay, it's just saying to wait. It tells me to come back when this part is finished. I'm hesitant to get a sub printer as I heard the ink dries if not used often or the nozzles have to be cleaned. I have not had any issues at all, not one. And I don't do sublimation every day. I, I might do it maybe once a week and, and I don't do it every week. Um, but I haven't had any problems at all with that Epson 2760. I love that printer a lot. And if that printer printed up to 13 by 19, I wouldn't have bought this one. But I trust Epson. What about a GoFundMe page if the Epson 20 is just having to fall? <laughs> you know, I went on a kayak and I just happened to bring my printer with me and nothing else fell in the river except my printer. So we need to have a GoFundMe page for the printer. We're not doing it. What are we not? We're not doing it. You know, plug in head cleaning. Doesn't really. I leave my plug in and powered on and I never do the head cleaning. But I will tell you what happened last night. My son and I were trying to do, we were trying to use easy subly. Um, and it would not print on the 2760. I don't know why, because I've done it before with no problem. It printed fine, but it would not, it wouldn't do it. So I don't know why. I don't know what was going on with that. Eco solvent. I don't, I'm not familiar with eco solvent, Laura. There is so much stuff I don't know, you guys. I promise I learned something new pretty much every day. So don't know anything about eco solvents. Don't know anything about eco solvents. But guess what else I bought? Because after I did my little tumblers in my mug press, somebody said, Delonda, please don't put cardboard in that mug press again because it could catch on fire. And I was thinking, if this house catches on fire, who's going to save my craft supplies? <laughs> Y'all so crazy. So I bought some um, silicone. I bought these silicone. I bought these silicone. What are these called? What are these called? Silicone wraps. That was you, Hillary. Thank you. Tess Fabric, did you check the ink flow? And for you. Okay. So I bought these. 
I bought these. Um, hope this item will help you. Now, whoever wrote this is, I don't think they're from the United States, but it says, and I'm going to read it exactly how it says it. Hope this item will help you more convenient in using mug press machine for doing your sublimation artwork. That's what it says. So cup it up and it tells you if y'all can see that. It's like div three of them. These are on the package, it says these are silicone wraps. So it's three of them, three different um, thicknesses. Th is thicknesses a word? Is thicknesses? Do you say thick thicknesses? I don't know. So one is like really thick. <laughs> what about my, yeah, but who, the crab supplies, who's going to say my crab supplies is this house catch on fire. So this one is like super thick, I feel like. Um, oh, okay. One is 4.3 millimeters. One is 3.4 and one is 1.5. So that's the 1.5, and then this is the 3.4. I feel like this this 4.3 would have been perfect. And even if I would, even if I don't wrap it all the way around the tumbler, if I just use it to put inside the mug press, they might. I don't think it'll fit all the way around. Let me get a let me grab a tumbler and see. So the printer is still doing this update, y'all. So I bought these from Amazon. It's all that's the printer is almost finished. So I don't it'll go like that. Oh let me see, hold on. So when they said 10 minutes, they really didn't mean it. So here's my mug press. And if I put, let me see. If I put, that's pretty snug. So this, this thick one, this um, four point, 4.3 millimeter is actually good because it's it's not going anywhere. It's pretty snug. So to be accurate on this time as well. So when it said 10 minutes, Chaz Mart, they really did mean it. Okay. But I also bought this because I overshot. In case I didn't like those, I bought these. It's almost at the end. I would say maybe one minute left on that. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this because I, I prefer the um, thicknesses. Thank 
you, artwork artist. Thicknesses. Now I have to think of another reason to use it because I just want to say it tomorrow at work. Oh, I don't have to. I don't have work tomorrow. Look at God. Um, I prefer the Cricut brand of um, heat resistant tape. I like it. I have not had any problems with it, and I don't don't plan to use any any other brand. But this one came with this. And it came with this. Um, well, I guess you stick this in like that. And it came with more heat resistant gloves. And a set of instructions. Yeah, I don't know if I'll I don't know if I'll be using that one though. Patrice, are you still in here? Do you use this? Have you tried this? Yes, I got this from Amazon too. All right, it says initialization complete. Move on to print quality adjustments. So I'm gonna click to adjustment. Align the printer to get the best print quality. Let me turn it so y'all can. You use this one, this green one? I'm gonna have to try it because I, I, I don't, I'm, I wasn't good with the seam. I mean, I, I did decent, but I, you know, I'm sure it could be a lot better. Um, okay, so now it's asking me to align the print printer to get the best print quality, and it says to adjust it, like it's recommended that I adjust it. So I'm gonna click adjust, perform a print head nozzle check to check print quality. So I'm gonna put a piece of paper. Well, this table is a mess. Load letter A for size paper to Oh, I don't know if you can see that. So I put the paper in this tray down here. Said video on the sleeve and the submission sheet slide when pushing the blank in the sleeve. You have to just put it in a certain way. You'll need like eight to ten, eight to ten pieces. Watching someone doing a box opening with a tumbler press that had color, tape, and glove. Okay, so I printed the first sheet and it's not good. I don't know if y'all can see, but there should not be any like spaces on the lines they should just be you know solid lines that i can see so i wonder which side is the top y'all i don't like wasting paper i'm gonna put this back in and check the printer patterns and then close the results so check the printer pattern it was not good so i'm gonna click the x run print head requires maintenance performer print head cleaning i'm gonna click run Cleaning starts and then the nozzle check pattern start. Cleaning, do not turn the power off. It says this takes about three minutes. Someone doing a box opening with a tumbler press that had a color tape. Oh yeah. Patrice, didn't you just print it side up? Is the right is the right way to put it in to do it again, Chaz Mark? Because I'm gonna use this paper again. I'm not getting another sheet of paper. <laughs> so if it prints exactly on top of this, I'll say it was better. Okay, it says this takes three minutes. Okay, all right. I'm going going for it. We don't waste anything, I'm telling you. We have a whole bunch of bottles of little bit of stuff in our pantry and our refrigerator because we don't throw it away. We're frugal like that. But I do... I, Shop enough to make up for it. I 
Does anybody use these? Latorsha Demp said you, you must have watched um, Patrice's video. But she did that with the Tumblr press. Hi, Karen Carpenter. Welcome. Welcome aboard. Uh-oh. 114 viewers and 97 likes. Uh-oh. Well, Tracy, maybe they don't like it. I need one of those shirts that say, what? I'm not for everybody. <laughs> it's okay. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Couple things they like converted to fifty thousand. Oh, Patrice, you converted one. I need to watch it or watch it too. I'm so awful. Okay, let's see. Paper out. Paper out. Let's see. Let's see. Low paper. Patrice, I should have watched your video. Any DTF owners? Next is a stylist, 2000. Oh, no. Two years ago? Oh, wow. Yeah, I've been waiting for two years to get this printed. No, that's a lie. I've been waiting for... Maybe three months. Is Epson better than Sawgrass? I don't. I don't have a Sawgrass. I think uh, Michael, uh, Mr. Crafty Pants, has a Sawgrass. Paper out in rear feet. Okay. Oh, one thing I don't like about this one is the the display is different than what's on the um, 2760. Okay. So you prefer you prefer it, Patrice? So it's asking me to put paper in the rear feed. I don't have sawgrass coins. I don't know from what I hear, yes, it is better because sawgrass. And this with the cost of grass, ink is the price of Epsom printer. God, don't. So it printed exactly in the same spot, but I still see some. Um, hey, Sherry, you need eco ink. I'm like, to show why are you getting a new print if you already had a submission print, Karen. I, I reviewed that <laughs> because the the workforce is a I I will consider it to be 
a money pit, for lack of a better word. Chief Elson and it works fine. Recently, whenever I printed from my cricket, the image was blurry, so I took the bleed off, and now it's fine. Oh, okay, Melissa. Not even for fifteen thousand. Equals solvent using her ink. Oh, okay. You bought another fifteen thousand, Nicole. I mean, Patrice. Check the print head. I'm gonna run it again. Start. Y'all, it's gonna take a minute. It's taking a very long time to get the aligned, the paper aligned, the ink aligned. They have a chip resetter now. That's the only reason I have not gotten rid of that 7820. Now, uh, there was a company that reached out to me about um, looking into their chip resetters, and I don't have time. I don't have time to, I don't want to. I don't want to. So you have two 15,000s? Why are you confused, Jan? Patrice, you have two 15,000s? Let's get to that. Y'all asking me how many printers I have. You should be asking Patrice how many printers she has. She probably has a billion printers. I have four. Patrice, have you ever seen the movie Waiting to Exhale? When Angela Bassett asked her daughter, Onika, she said, oh, Onika. No, she, the little girl said, why come? Why come? Why come? You have three 15,000s. One for sublimation, one for regular pigment, and one that you're about to convert to eco solvent. You have nine printers. I will have to have nine rooms. This is your fourth, but you have a line on the stylus 2000 for DTL. I think I want to get another 15,000 for eco, but use, we're going to use the workforce 7720, but non craftable things. That's a lot of printers. They're all connected. The next time somebody asks me, why do I have so many? I'm going to say, because Patrice has nine. That's why. That's going to be my answer right there. OMG. I did not expect this to take this long, y'all. I'm sorry. If y'all want to... I don't want you to leave. I want you to stay, but... I did not expect this to take this long. I did not expect it to take this long. You think she has more than nine? Nine. Come on. 15,000, put your workforce 7720. Is your workforce 7720 still working well, Latorsha? I've only heard good things about that printer. It's just discontinued. It's almost there, but I still see some spaces. I'm not counting my printers in my classroom. I just took a sub printer there. saying no paper in in it when it is mm. I don't know I'm getting ready to find out
Patrice, do you feel that the 15,000, oh, but you feel the uh, sawgrass is better than the 15,000 because the sawgrass is made specifically, specifically for sublimation. And that's one question. Two, part two of two, why did you get a 15,000 converted to sublimation if you already have a sawgrass? I'm going to start labeling my questions 2.A, 2.B, 2.B, 2.C, 2.D. That's what I think I'm going to do. I looked at the sawgrass, the things called the SG500 yesterday, because when I saw this was in stock, I was like, well, should I just get a sawgrass? But it didn't, that one didn't print up to 13 by 19. And the reason, oh, you got the sawgrass later. The reason why I wanted this one was because I wanted to be able to print bigger and not be so worried about the ink. Does the ink last long? In the 15,000? Okay, Linda. Machines Anonymous. So I feel like with that 2760, the ink lasts a very long time. I don't, do you feel like the ink, it lasts long in here, 15,000? Okay. Because like the black I already feel like it's lower than it should be. But I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this black that I use for the with the syringes, I'm gonna put it in here. Doesn't take long to dry because it is a larger print. I always put mine on my heat press after I print something anyway, so I don't know. In case y'all wondering what I'm doing, I'm just taking the ink from the bottles that require syringes and I'm putting it in this one. So, because that workforce 7820 is probably about to be put to bed until I get a chip resetter. Marilyn, you live in the life. Are you retired? Almost, you guys. That is almost there. I feel like I got to do it probably one more time. I got to do it one more time. Marilyn, are you retired? Because if you are, guess what? I'm jealous. It's asking me, do I want to set up the fax? You did it four times. Okay, bye, Nicole. Thank you for joining. Chaz Mart, you are um jealous. I mean, not jealous. You're retired. I'm jealous. You're retired. Skip facts. I'm skipping that. Yes. Skipping facts. But I don't feel like the um I 
I'm so Carol. I knew you were retired. I'm already. I already told you I was jealous of you. First time. I already told you I was jealous of you. I'm jealous of anyone who is retired. Super jealous. Um, Wi-Fi, start setup, trying to set up the Wi-Fi, um, app the printer to my existing network, I'm going to set it up connected to my Wi-Fi and also <laughs> connected directly. Setup is in progress. So direct. I don't know. It wouldn't be me if nothing happened. It wouldn't be a live with Delanda if nothing like that happened. You know that. If that had not happened, you wouldn't even know you were on with me. You know that. Because that only happens to me. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. So I'm going to connect this to my laptop with the printer cord. I purchased this cord from Walmart for about $6.99. And I purchased them because that's just what I do. That's just who I am. Hopefully you're not getting a, too much of a okay. Let's see. Let's see what it says now.
No, I'm not. I'll connect it to the Wi-Fi later. I just want to um, you cancel that. Sorry. I'm waiting for it to recognize. I'm waiting for it to recognize. But I can't close out the um Can't close out the um installer and it's just it says setup in progress. I don't really know what it's if it's even doing anything. I wanna I'm using um, Windows. And I'm dropping everything that's behind this um, laptop, in case you were wondering. What's all that noise? Oh, just everything that's behind the laptop is falling, in case you, in case you were wondering about that. But it's like, um, it's saying that setup is in progress. Let me try to cancel that. Uh, set up. Let me end it. Connect failed. Okay. Retry, direct USB. Next. Okay, so it detected it now. So I'm going to print a test page. I'm just using regular paper for this. So I just printed out a test page. This is what the test page looks like. It'll come into focus, hopefully. Hi, Songbird. So I feel like it's doing what it's going to do. Now I'm going to actually print out um, this butterfly that I that's just available in Cricut Design Space. And um, we'll see what the colors look like. And if it really, we'll try to get the profile set up. I'm gonna try to do it from, from here if it'll allow me. All right, so let me go to share my screen, share screen, window, click a design space, share. Let's see what y'all see. Okay. I'm going to hide that. All right. 
so let me click cancel and go back and get a um i'm gonna just make it as big as i can of course So I'm click continue, center printer. I'm gonna keep the bleed on for now and go to preferences, even though I don't have any preferences set up yet. So let me see what y'all see. See what my comments still trying to convince my children to give me one if it doesn't get surrounded myself. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to keep coming back to comments because um, all right. I'm going to go to premium presentation paper mat. You think I should leave? What did you say? Put the 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 color on standard or leave it on high let me see what y'all saying standard or high let me see what y'all say because i think you addressed that earlier Did y'all say, what did you say? Standard, the color, high, high quality. We're going to go with that. Let's see. I'm not going to change the color options because normally I will go here to custom and I will go to advanced and I would go to color controls. But the settings that I have on my Epson 2760 I have mine on um, Adobe RGB and I keep it on, I just keep mine on Gamma 2.2. So my regular sublimation settings, if anybody's ever wondering, this is what I keep mine on. I haven't ever changed it. I haven't ever adjusted it. I haven't done anything to it. I keep it here. So if I was using that printer, that would that's what the settings would look like. But I use... Keep it there. I think it's high. Paper choice must match what printer is standard on. Hi, hello. Patrice, you have a recommendation? Because if not, I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to put my paper in. I'm going to put my paper in. Keep it on high. Okay. Best quality. I didn't see that as an option. For quality, I see standard and high. So it's high best. It's best high. Did you download all the drivers? Yes. Adobe RGB. Okay. That's what I have my other one on. I just have it on um, Adobe RGB. So I went to color controls in case anybody is wondering. Color controls. And instead of Epson Vivid, just click the drop down and go to Adobe RGB and keep the gamma at 2.2 and click OK. 
Um, and I really don't have to uh, mirror this because it doesn't have any words. It's just a butterfly. Okay. I don't know if I put the paper up or down, but I, I hope I put it right side up. Right side up. If I print on the wrong side, I'm going to be so sad. Right side up. Right side up, or should I see the? I should see the backing. Thank you, Chaz Martz. Look at you. Helping me. Right side down. Okay, so now I'm going to click print. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. And I need to save that. Table size. Print with print with paper sending. I don't want to load it in the okay. It's asking me to load it. But if I load it here, because I didn't change the Oh, I hope I did it right. If I print on the wrong side, y'all will know. Easy sub, is shiny. So it's, this is just regular A sub. It's just a regular A sub. It's not easy sub. Face up. I think I did do face up. Rear side, rear print side up. Well, we about to learn today if it's right. <clears throat> it's right. It looks good. My friend changed the cartridge. Yes. Yes. I didn't change the tray when I was in the print settings. It looks good. It looks really good. It looks super good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It looks really good. I'm excited. Y'all, it looks so good. I've already said that. I know. I just thought I should say it one more time for good measure. You see the silhouette? Stop me. Smiling. That's me dancing. Let me look at the picture again in design space. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be really, really good. It's going to be really, really good. I'm excited. Yes. How long have we been on here, y'all? It was worth it. Yes.
It's good, right? That's good. Can y'all see that? It doesn't look vibrant from here. But um, so, you know, every time I do any sublimation, once I print, I always just put it on my heat on the plate. And I just let it dry here for like a minute or two before I cut it, before I let my uh, Cricut cut it out. I always just let it sit there. So my heat press is heating up. But you got the printer settings. You got um, the setup. You see that it took multiple times for me to um, get the lines. And even though they still didn't come out right, like it didn't give me all the, like it still has some spaces here in the lines. It's going gonna, it's gonna to clear up so you can see it. It still gave me a beautifully printed image. So I do think we met the goal. The goal was to, and I'm not going to hold y'all. The goal was to unbox it and convert it. And I'm using the word convert. You're really not converting it. All you're doing is putting sublimation ink instead of the ink that comes with the printer. Okay. You want T. Thompson? Where, what am I putting it on? I'm just putting on a shirt. Do you want to stay for that? Y'all want me to put it on the shirt? If you want me to, I will. But otherwise, y'all don't have to stay with me. I know y'all, I don't know y'all been with me for a long time. I don't like to take your time up. But I will. I will. Absolutely. Thank you, Roberta. Um, you're not really converting it. You're just putting in sublimation ink instead of the ink that came with the with the printer. Thank you, Aunt Wanda. OK, Becca, I will. OK, Andrea, I will. <laughs> like, don't take me this far and leave me. You come this. OK, we're not going into songs. We're not doing songs. OK, let me get a shirt right quick. Let me grab a shirt. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. So one thing y'all might not know, <laughs> one thing y'all might not know is that when it comes to sublimation and shirts, I prefer the Cricut brand because I just like them. I think it's good quality. They probably, you can probably find a cheaper shirt that's 100% polyester. I'm sure you can. I just like the Cricut brand. So, you know, get what you like, get what fits in your budget. And if it's between a sublimated, you know, 100% polyester shirt and gas money, go with the gas money. Okay. Especially if you're not retired, like some of these people in here can live their best life. Put some phrase with a butterfly. Hmm. I don't know what phrase would I put. <laughs> Thank you, Gigi. Hi, Betty Bush. I don't know what phrase I would put with a butterfly. Butterflies. Um, Thank you, Marilyn. Marilyn, did you answer if you're retired or not? Are you retired, Marilyn? I don't know. If you did, I missed it. I'm so jealous of all of you. What they say? Y'all remember that uh, movie? My cousin Vinny, the two Utes. I'm all. I'm retired of all Utes. All of you Utes. Okay, so it's been sitting there for a while. I just let it sit there. You know, kind of like make sure the ink is dry, dry, dry. I'm in a weird spot because I'm like in a corner right here. But I'm gonna take my um, lint roller and I'm going to. Go over my shirt. I know y'all can't really see what I'm doing. This is like weird. I have to put the, I'm going to put the laptop back over fly high and free. Oh, Becca, that's not really something I would wear. I am. Um, 
don't think I would like that, Becca. And nobody's gonna wear this but me. My daughters might wear it, but they don't really, they all into what they're into. <laughs> no car right now. Oh, I'm sorry, Becca. Well, look, you're saving on gas money and you don't have to have a car note. Look, am I putting? I don't think I want to put a quote on the shirt. Let me see if there's something that's already have done a car. I have, Felina. I have. You missed it. Now I'm sad about it. Now I'm sad. I can't go back. I'll add a quote at another time. How about that? Because I don't want to change it. Hope I'm not burning my chair. Um, I'll add a quote at another time. I promise. I got to think about what I want to put on there. So I'm going to go over my shirt with my lint roller. Can let y'all see that. Can you see that? Going over the shirt with the lint roller. Right? Because if you don't, you'll find those blue fibers. Like, where did they come from? Like, where did you come from? And then I'm going to get some butcher paper. I might have some over here already. Don't. Let me grab some butcher paper to put inside here. Let me grab some butcher paper. For everyone who is new to me, this butcher paper came from Sam's Club. They sell it in a big, big roll like this near their um, trays and foil and saran wrap and all that stuff. I got this from Sam's Club. It was like 20, 20 something dollars, $23 maybe, 20, $22. And if Sam's Club has it, you know that Costco has it. That is big. <laughs> Michael, you still here? Hey, look at you sticking around. Maybe we won't play phone tag tomorrow. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, we will have a real live conversation. Okay, I'm taking this back. Oh. Hopefully I'm not burning my chair up. All right, so I'm gonna put some butcher paper inside this shirt. is such a weird angle but can y'all hey y'all oh uh, michael you had a live tonight i'm gonna have to go watch it all right i don't need to put it on there yet i haven't even cut it out yet i'm gonna let my cricket cut this out Y'all, I got a billion things going on. So I put this on my, that was a pre-recorded premiere. Oh, Kristen, that would be fun. Say it again so he can hear you because I don't think he heard you. Sometimes you have to say things louder for the people in the back. <laughs> so I have it on my mat and I'm going to let my cricket cut this out. I was just telling him that I played phone tag with him today and I lost. So hopefully tomorrow will be a success. Thank you, Patrice, because tomorrow I don't have work. So you, I won't be in meetings. So when you call me or whatever, I'll be able to respond and we can chit chat. 
Let me move all this stuff out of the way so y'all can see. <sighs> what size paper? Eight and a half by 11. It's eight and a half. It's just a regular A sub um, sublimation paper, and it's eight and a half by 11. So I'm going to let my cricket cut that out. You should all cry together. That would be amazing. We're watching him and following him. Thank you. Y'all, thank you so much. Y'all know I get emotional. Don't make me cry on these, in front of all of these people. We need a lot of the We all agree. Oh, I can't. Y'all, I, no, I, I get too nervous. I have to be worked up. I have to get myself worked up to do it. That's right, Kristen. Tell him again. Tell him again. Call me. Found a video two by two. I did, yeah, I did one for Lena. Y'all would never know that there are four other people in this house. Peter is somewhere probably watching TV. The girls are doing, I don't know what. Miles is probably asleep. Let me just check y'all because my, you know, my, um, my, my blade is not sharp and I would hate to take this off the mat and it's not cut. It's not cut all the way through. Learn that with the infusible ink the other night. Hold on. I just want to double check it before I take this off. Look at this. I'm just making a mess. Really? This what we doing? This what we doing? I'm not gonna take this off. What y'all say? Good night. Good night. We're trying to cook something. He 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 talking about it. Oh, we gonna see. I wanna see. Y'all, I am making a mess. Michael, after you watch this, you're going to change your mind. Be like, no, no, Delonda. I thought I was going to call you, but I changed my mind. See, this is what I was trying to tell you. But you didn't want to hear it. Oh, it did cut. It cut through. So I use the infusible ink cut setting. Or as my material of choice. Now I still need to be able to get this off. And I'm not good at that. And I'm not going to do it on camera. Because y'all don't need to see me um, fiddling with this. <laughs> Thank you, Patrice. I'm telling you, we played phone tag, but... I did not win. I did not win. Sometimes you don't want to win, especially when it's those people uh, <clears throat> calling you about the extended warranty on your car that you don't even have. Delonda, we have important information about your extended warranty. Uh, Ma'am, not only do I not have an extended warranty, I don't even have a vehicle. So please stop. I 
I have not seen a train wreck, so stop it. And I don't think anybody in here has seen any of your train wrecks. I think you're the only victim in your train wrecks, Michael. Okay, how about that? I have seen a couple of them, but I haven't seen a train wreck, so he needs to stop it. Stop it. And if you don't have any witnesses, I mean, did it really happen? No. Okay. So I'm going to get this um, placed on the shirt face down. My little butterfly on this shirt. Let me move this chair so y'all can see what I'm doing. Who I should infuse with ink? This is a piece of cake. Thank you, Vanessa. You saw me weeding that infusible ink for 30 hours. And guess what you did? Stay right there with me. Because... Vanessa said, I'm going to be in that thing with you. We're going to support you to the end. Thank you, Vanessa. I appreciate that. I do. Somebody said, I fed my cat, walked the dog, cooked the food, put the food away, and you still weeding. Yep, I was. So I'm going to get this. Place down. On my little old shirt. I better use some tape because with my luck, Kristen, you've seen him make a mistake on his life. And don't just vouch for him for no reason, Kristen. Kristen, keep it real. Okay, I think that's enough. I better put one more piece. Thank you, Joanna. It documentation and receipts. <laughs> documentation and receipts, honey. Because if we don't have it, it did not happen. So now I put the butcher paper on top. And I'm going to press it on 400 degrees for 60 seconds. One of many, Becca. 15 minute challenges. Okay. All right. Well, if Kristen says it, then I believe it because I trust Kristen's vouching for you. Otherwise, I would have needed some evidence and documentation and receipts. Because if we don't have documentation, it did not happen. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. But mine is a train wreck. Every time I go live, there's something is going to happen. With it. it is it is a proven fact. There's never just a smooth. The sound didn't go out. The lights didn't turn off. The dog didn't bark. The doorbell didn't ring. It's never any of that. There's always going to be one of those things that's going to happen on my live. So let's see, let's see, let's see. I think it's looking really, really good. <laughs> I think it's looking really, really good. Ooh. Oh, man. Y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to stay calm. I'm trying to keep my composure. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. I love it. What am I going to say? I love it. <laughs> yes. So... Yeah, I'm loving this printer and I have to try to do a big image. I'll do something soon with that. But my first goal is to um, play with that big image again in design space. So anyway, I'm going to be down here for one second and say my says and do my do's and let y'all go on about your life. So let me get back to my goal. We always start with the goal. The goal was to unbox and convert the Epson 15,000. Did we accomplish the goal? Did we accomplish the goal? 
did we accomplish the goal? Maybe glitter? Maybe glitter. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Sherry. Yes, Michelle, we accomplished it. Okay. Even if there's one yes, I'll take it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. We accomplished the goal. So I am going to tell you, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for spending your time with me. You know, I do not take that lightly. Whenever somebody gives you their time is equal to giving their treasure. So I want to say thank you. I appreciate you more than I can ever express. Y'all keep being good to each other. And please, 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 please don't get involved in any road rage. What did I say? Keep you just, just keep your head straight. Don't even look to the side. If somebody wants to go ahead of you, you just assume they have to use the bathroom and don't even look. Just let them go ahead of you. Don't give them any fingers. No fingers, right? We're not doing any fingers. We're not waving, nothing. Just straight eyes on the road, hands at 10 and 2, okay? So we could do what? Arrive alive, okay? It was good seeing y'all again. Good being back on. Hopefully, I'll talk to Michael. Hopefully, I won't lose at um, phone tag tomorrow. We'll see. I'll keep y'all posted. I'll let you know. Okay? <laughs> it was good seeing y'all. Y'all take good care and be good to each other. Bye now. <laughs>